Hello and welcome. Today we've got another Best Dark video, and this time it's all about their brand new MiG 165 Weld. Best Dark just sent me this unit, so we're going to unbox it together and then give it a proper test. And now, just to be clear, I didn't pay for this and it was sent to me for free. But this is nevertheless an honest review. Best Dark has no idea what I'm going to say and they haven't given me any talking points or payments in any way, shape or form. Also, another quick disclaimer, I'm not a welding expert. I've got maybe five hours of total welding experience, so what you'll hear today is really the perspective of an absolute beginner. All right then, with that out of the way, my first impressions are that everything is really nicely packaged. Best Star clearly takes care with their products, and I have some of their other stuff too, and I've never had problems with anything arriving damaged. Inside the box, you get a few accessories, First, there's a gas hose, since this machine works with both gas and gasless setups. You also get a manual, and I highly recommend giving it a read, because this welder has more features than your average entry-level machine these days. You also get an electrode holder and a ground clamp too, and honestly, both feel like they're excellent quality at this price point. And finally, you even get two welding wires, one flux corded, and one that requires shielding gas. Pretty solid lineup so far, but now, Let's check out the machine itself. So as you can see, this is a completely brand new unused unit. I'm testing it straight out of the box, which means that if there are any issues, we'll find out straight away. I really enjoy peeling off those protective films on anything new. It's such a small thing, I know, but it always makes my day just a bit brighter. I've actually used other machines from Vestark too. For example, their MiG 145 welder, which was actually sent to me for a review. But funnily enough, it ended up becoming the main welder for me and a couple of my friends. The MiG-145 has been well used and it's never missed a beat. It just handles everything a beginner DIYer could want extremely well. So naturally, I'm expecting big things from this new model. And on top of the standard MiG and stick welding, it also supports lift TIG. However, the TIG torch isn't included, but I bought the best arc one with my own money which probably tells you how much I actually like the machine. It's probably also worth noting that the TIG torch comes with a very long cable. What's interesting is that the MiG-145 and this new MiG-165 are basically identical in size and features. The only real difference is the power. As the name suggests, the MiG-165 gives you more amps. You'll get the full 165 amps for MiG and TIG, while for stick or MMA as you call it, you max out at 130 amps. And now, let's talk about the LCD display, which I find simply excellent. Apart from the standard stuff, you can also use it to set up the voltage, but you can also choose how the wire feed works and adjust the wire speed. Honestly, it's so much better than other machines in the same price range that only give you a single knob to control everything. Simplifying isn't always the answer, especially when it comes to welding. Alright, now time to install some flux core wire and start testing. And check this out. See this little red button here? It makes feeding the wire through so much easier when you're loading a new roll. It's such a small detail, but at this price point, little things like this are what really makes the difference. Okay, let's get into it with a bit of flux core wire welding. And just so you know, I'm using the Parkside Performance Welding Helmet to film this. It actually does look great on camera, and if you want to learn more about that, I've linked the video where I review it. I'm starting off with flux core because I think that these days, that's the go-to option for most DIYers. Like I've mentioned, I'm not a welding expert, but to me, flux score just feels so much easier than stick welding, and also easier to get into than standard MIG. Sure, it has its downsides, but if you're just starting out, you don't need perfect hand-eye coordination to make it work. And Parkside sell good flux score wire for cheap. So just dial in the machine, get a little practice, and you can actually get some decent results. Sure, the beads won't be flawless, but they should hold. Stick welding on the other hand takes a lot more practice to get right. And don't even get me started on TIG welding. I've tried that multiple times and I've failed every single time. I've used this type of flux core wire to fill in gaps and to weld both thick and thin steel plates. And feel free to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I've heard that in some cases flux core can actually be easier to handle. Mostly because you don't need to do as much prep work on the metal beforehand. Because with regular MIG, the surface really needs to be spotless if you want a good weld. Whereas with flux core wire, you can basically weld your tractor up in a field. 
I don't have my own shielding gas bottle yet, but I've tried MIG on this welder and the difference is clear. The welds come out much cleaner and you hardly need to touch them with a grinder afterwards. That said, when you can grab a roll of Parkside Flux Core wire for around 5 euros when on sale, it does make you wonder whether a gas bottle is worth it every single time. Maybe once I get more into TIG, I'll invest in an argon bottle and then also pick up a CO2 mix for MIG as well. Don't worry, I'll clean off the flux and we'll take a closer look at the welds a bit later on. And now, let's also try some stick welding, or MMA to use its proper name. Now, funny story, the last time someone borrowed my welder, they didn't bother to restock the electrodes they used. So, I had to fall back on some Parkside electrodes I had lying around. I wasn't too confident about using them, because they didn't have the usual standard coding printed on them. For example, I was expecting them to be marked as 6013 all-purpose rods, but there was no sign of that. That said, I'm actually really happy to report that they worked surprisingly well. Even though I got them at a suspiciously low price and the slag looked pretty strange, they performed nicely. For what they cost, I'd honestly recommend them to beginners or DIYers. These particular ones are 2.5mm electrodes and after filming, I actually went ahead and ordered some more. About 3 euros per kilo, they'll last me ages, so good job there Parkside. And of course, good job to Best Arc as well. Once again, they've delivered not just a fantastic welder, but one that's budget friendly as well. I really enjoy running flux score on this machine, it's definitely my preferred method, since I don't have the talent for stick welding. Flux score just feels easier, and once I got the settings dialed in, I noticed way less splatter. And I'm sure that if I go for MIG welding and proper shielding gas, it would be even better. And in the end, I'm very happy with the results. After a bit of grinder time, the welds look decent. And yeah, I know the old saying that goes something like a grinder and paint and so on. But keep in mind, I've only got a few hours of welding experience under my belt. So, go easy on me please. What I can say is that the adjustability on this best arc makes the whole process way easier than with other machines I've tested. Being stuck without proper amperage or wire speed control is an absolute nightmare. But, well, that's a topic for another video. And don't worry, that video is coming. So, is the best ARG MIG-165 worth it? Well, in my opinion, yes, it absolutely is. I've even seen it go on sale for around 120 euros. And honestly, if best ARG hadn't sent me this one, I would have bought it myself just to see what it's like. My MIG-145 has been going strong for over a year now, and if there were any issues, I'd know by now. So in essence, the reality is that this isn't just a 5 minute first impression review. I've had real experience with their machines, and so far, no problems to report. That's just my personal experience, but it's also the truth from my side. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and leaving a comment down below.